The cycle of conception begins with the deposit of sperm from the penis into the vagina during sexual intercourse. Sperm begins its life in the testicles, which are contained in a sac called the scrotum. The testicles produce both sperm and the male hormones necessary for functioning as a male. Each day, the testicles can produce around 150 million sperm. Once sperm has been produced in the tubules, it is stored in the epididymis, which is like a little cap or duct on the outside of the testicles. The epididymis stores sperm for between 2 to 11 days. If it is not used, it may be released naturally during sleep. This is known as a wet dream. Prior to ejaculation, sperm pass through long, thin tubes called the vas deferens and collect in the seminal vesicle. Sperm only comprise about 2 to 3% of the volume of semen. The rest is made up of additions from the glands of the reproductive tract, including the seminal vesicle and the prostate gland. Seminal fluid is added from the seminal vesicle and the enzymes from the prostate gland. The combined fluid is then ready for ejaculation. Blood flows into the penis causing an erection. Just prior to ejaculation, there are powerful contractions by the muscle that lies at the base of the penis. This forces the semen out as ejaculate. Sperm is then released into the vagina, ready to begin its journey through the female's reproductive organs. Once released into the vagina, the cervix acts as a reservoir to allow a continuous supply of sperm to swim upward into the uterus and then into the fallopian tubes. All women are born with thousands of tiny eggs or ova inside their ovaries. Each month, at around mid-menstrual cycle, around day 14 of a 28-day cycle, an egg is released by one of the ovaries. The egg is picked up by the tiny tentacles, fimbriae, at the entrance of the fallopian tube. If the egg is not fertilised, it will die within 24 hours. If sperm are present, fertilisation can occur near the end of the fallopian tube. Sperm can survive for up to seven days inside the female. The lining of the fallopian tube contains hair-like projections, or cilia, that beat together to gently guide the fertilised egg down the fallopian tube. As the fertilised egg continues down the fallopian tube, it continues to grow. Approximately 15 hours later, the cell divides, doubling the number of cells. In the meantime, the lining of the uterus, the endometrium, is prepared by female hormones to receive the fertilised egg. The tissue becomes thick and full of blood and other fluids. A bundle of 64 cells reach the uterus six to seven days after ovulation. The embryo then starts to produce a pregnancy hormone to sustain the pregnancy. Pregnancy test kits can detect this hormone. The fertilised egg attaches itself to the endometrium and continues to grow. If an egg does not attach, the lining and excess blood is shed in what becomes the monthly menstrual cycle or period. Periods usually last from between three to seven days. Periods are part of the natural reproductive cycle, which normally begins between the age of 10 to 14 and ends at about 50 years of age.